Hello everybody, I'm back. And right now, I'm going to do the breakdown of what I consider the highlights of the trailer of, for the trailer of The Possession of Hannah Grace. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm new to all this kind of thing, so bear with me here while I try to do this. I'm going to start with the very beginning here. One, two, three. In the name of the Holy Spirit. This job is not for everyone. Is it ours? because the only co-workers are cadavers. I heard there were issues. Yes, there were issues. But I'm much better now. Okay, it, um, what I like about the trailer so far is it starts off with the bang. It lets you know that you're gonna be in for a ride with this one. And uh, there's always gonna be in these movies, well, in most movies, I guess, there's always got to be a person that you really don't like, and that one male doctor seems like to me he's going to be kind of a dick, the way he says, seems to me there were issues. But yeah, she obviously had a prescription drug addiction is what I'm getting out of it, but looks pretty good so far. Let's check out the second clip. Well, I got a weird one for you. Her name is Hannah Grace. And her family was performing an exorcism or something on her. <laughs> something went wrong. <laughs> and she died in the middle of it. Okay, that... Again... It's picking up as it goes along. I really like that. I've noticed, though, in a lot of these possession movies, they always have them, like, doing these, you know, body manipulation and stuff like that. And it's nothing that we haven't seen before. But I'm still kind of liking this. I think it's going to be pretty good. So, anyways, now we'll try clip number three. Let's see what we get out of this one. One, two, three. Here we go. And when you die, you die. And when you die, you die. You've got to focus. I just breathe. When you die, you die. When you die. Okay, I also get from the trailer that, like, it's obvious. She says, when you die, you die. She doesn't believe there's anything afterwards. And I bet you that by the time this movie's over, she has a whole different outlook on it. <laughs> but it is a movie, and you got to have those types of things, I guess, in the movie. Uh, let's go on to clip number four. This is the last clip that I'm gonna show here. And I'd like also for you to leave your comments down below what you think looks good or bad about this trailer. So far, I'm liking it. I think they did a good job with the trailer. I'm just hoping that they aren't showing too much, but I don't I don't think so. They're just, I think they're showing just the exciting parts, maybe, I don't know, but Let's go on to clip number four. One, two, three. Hello? Hello? 
Okay, there's nothing worse than something like that happening when you got your pants down, right? <laughs> Anyways, that to me, I, I, then pants would be up so quick and I'd be out of that bathroom stall. But <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty vulnerable position in there. And what is it with these horror movies that always show a ball rolling across the floor? That. I guess that's a really popular thing in horror movies these days. But anyways, that's my breakdown on it, my first one. I'm going to try and get a lot better at this. I'm just trying to figure out how to put all these clips together and show them and everything. And with my computer kit buffering them, so it was taking forever for the clips to come up. But anyways... I think this is going to be a good movie. The Possession of Anna Grace comes out November 30th, and I will see you next time.